Shalom Nechem. Welcome back to Go Church. All right, folks, lately I've been trying to keep them kind of short for you. Um, not too long, but there's no getting around this one. Um, it's a lot of information here. Now, the original access term was, and this is the second time I've recorded this, by the way. <clears throat> um, I didn't have my microphone in. The original term was Babylon Rising. But that's all three letters that we could add in here, which is the waters of Babylon rising. Yeah. Which makes a 13 letter term. This has been a very small uh, cylinder width, folks. Remember we talked about cylinders? Some are bigger and some are smaller. Okay. This one is on a pretty small one. It's uh, 4366 is the is width here. Um, some of the terms uh, seem to be relevant to the verses that are in, in this particular cylinder. And Yahweh put it here. He wanted us to see um, these verses with these words encoded here. Uh, this is the one I've told you here recently that had Nibiru vertical in it. You see right here Nibiru with the two letters that make up fire sitting on top of that and then you have four letters that make up the word planet or kakav which is also star that crosses over and this is all equal letter distance here you got wormwood down here uh, the year 2015 hey tau shen hey <coughs> you also have 2016 in an even smaller skip, folks. And look at this. You got Hey, Tav, Shin, An, Vav. But it's also kind of connected, joined together with the word Soto Brit, which is the United States, and uh, Biet Israel, the house of Israel. And vertical, standing right through that, kind of cutting it. Sitting vertical there is, and we fall. Here. And there's a tsunami involved. Uh, wormwood. Wormwood. And the biru. You see, noon, yod, bet, resh, vav, nibiru. With waters. And you have America. Right here. And you also have America this way. Joining with. <clears throat> the habitations of dragons right there with that rush judgment and uh, judgment here it's here about five times I believe there there down here but we have uh, annihilation crossing over one of them uh, the word Nimrod is in here <coughs> uh, days of Noah the days of Noah is also found in, down at the bottom here. Days of Noah is also here with the day of Yahuwah, uh, which is also in a plain text here. But connected, look at this, the same word that's found up here, annihilation, is also in Joel connecting to Yom Yahuwah. <coughs> so, um, very serious verses there. You see the number that I have highlighted here are all um, what I call former rain and latter rain verses, which is to say uh, that there are some that pertain to the former and then some that pertain to the latter. And then there are some that are both, uh, they deal with the former and with a spiritual latter. Uh, for instance, Matthew 24, when it talks about the abomination of desolation, uh, Yeshua is clearly talking uh, spiritually. Matthew even makes a reference to it. Let the reader understand. So, um, when we're looking at the table, the access term on any given with by Yahuwah is the context. The verses that come through here is what he wants us to see. Um, I also had down at the bottom with the word war, and war is here five times, I believe. Um, the year 2015 crosses it down there. Jubilee, the Abacus effect, 
appears at the bottom, a United States here with um, Zophan, the hidden, excuse me. Uh, what was really interesting about this one in particular is the, the number of times Hine Yamin Baim appears. You, you can see here it's four times in the plain text, kind of staggered across the page, um, which is Behold the Days Come. Um, this particular one is connected to the word um, wormwood in there. In that word, one line where it says, The whole of the days come. Uh, you know what's telling us? Judgment. Judgment in this table. America is not the only one here. And um, I've searched other countries. However, they didn't leave them in here because it gets so jumbled up. We're, we're talking about a global thing here. This is the beast system. Uh, Wormwood, the Biru, is definitely here. Folks, <clears throat> I have witnessed firsthand underground cities here in a little location less than an hour from where I am. The elites are building underground cities because they know what's coming. They not only know, but they're embracing what's coming because there's an agenda. Okay, there's uh, something called the Georgia Guidestone. It's all laid out. The, the evidence is before you. And they flash things in your face. Uh, here it is encoded. Who was telling us? Uh, end of days is in here. In plain text right there. End of days. So, very significant. And highly probable. Um, table as you're going to see when we read through this and please I know um, some of you don't like long tables well folks I've spent probably four or five months in this one table right here a lot of time I, I dedicate to doing this and that's why I have a donate button and people donate to this ministry because it is a ministry and I put a lot of time and work into it and and the Bible backs, it says I can do that. Um, there's a need for it, folks. I, I have needs in my life. <clears throat> um, and he does provide. But this is the work he's given me. And it's clear that he gave me this work. He, he made that very clear. So, if you have to sit down for an hour to watch what comes up, what is the result of that, that is the result. Um, of many days and many hours of work, and I highlighted these all these verses, and we could have done more. I could have highlighted more, but these seem to be overwhelmingly relevant um, to the day. So I think I got most of the terms in the ELS. So we're going to start reading off now um, the actual verses. So hang in there and. Um, Get what I'm showing you here. Who is telling us something here? Get the pattern. Okay. All right, so here we go. Very first verse. I want to start right here, right where it has the United States and the year 2016, and we fall with uh, shout, which is Tura, and war. But then you also have, look, in a downward angle, the economy uh, is there. Uh, this is the verse. It's in Jeremiah. And there's a lot here in Jeremiah and Isaiah. Uh, but then it also gets into the minor prophets, which is an interesting cluster there. Um, non- 20. All right. Here we go. We're going to start at 420. Destruction upon destruction is cried, for the whole land is spoiled. Suddenly my tents are spoiled, and my count and my curtains in a moment. How long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? For my people is foolish. They have not known me, and they are sottish children, and they have not understanding. They are wise to do evil, 
but to do good they have no knowledge. I beheld the earth, and lo, it was without form and void, and the heavens they had no light. I beheld the mountains, and lo, they trembled, and all the hills moved lightly. And I beheld, and lo, and there was no man, and all the birds of the heavens were f f fled. I beheld, and lo, the fruitful place was the wilderness, and all the cities thereof were broken down at the presence of Yahuwah and by his fierce anger. For this shall the earth mourn, and the heavens above be black, because I have spoken it, and I have purpose, and I will not relent, neither will I turn back from it. The whole city shall flee for the noise of the horsemen and bowmen, and they shall go in the thickets and climb up the rocks. Every city shall, every city shall be forsaken, and not a man dwell therein. You see how it says climb upon the rocks? Um, I'm going to show you in another video here pretty soon. Uh, this One of these underground cities. Next verse. Uh, right here is also Jeremiah. The. Let's see. Did I just read I just read the, that one, matter of fact. Let's read the one I meant to read, which is Jeremiah 4. Pardon me. Wait a minute. It was 4. It was 4. Now, 9. This is actually the second time I've done this video. So, uh, you think you're tired of me rambling? <laughs> All right, so we're in chapter 9, verse 19. Let's, let's start there. Hear ye the word of Yahuwah, O ye women, and let your receive the word of his mouth, and teach your daughters the wailing every one of her neighbors lamentation for death is coming up into our windows and has entered into our places to cut off the children from without and the young men from the streets speak thus saith Yahuwah even the carcasses of men shall fall as dung upon the open field as a handful after the harvest men and none shall gather them but let him the glory of glory in this he that understandeth knowledge knoweth me that I am the Yahuwah which exercises loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I will delight, saith Yahuwah. Behold, the days come, saith Yahuwah, that I will punish all them which are circumcised and uncircumcised, even Judah and Egypt and Edom and the children of Ammon and Moab and all that are in the utmost corners. That dwell in the wilderness for these are the nations are uncircumcised and the house of Israel are the uncircumcised in heart mm. next verse is also Jeremiah 16th chapter here we are now notice the pattern here and it shall come to pass that when thou shalt shew this people all these words when they shall say unto thee wherefore hath who have pronounced all these great evils against us? What is our inquiry? Or what is our sin that we have committed against you who are our Elohim? Then thou shalt say unto them, Because your fathers have forsaken me, and your said Yahuwah, and have walked after other gods, and served them, and have worshipped them, and have forsaken me, and they have not kept my law. And ye have done worse than your fathers, for behold, Ye walk every one after the imagination of his evil heart, and they are not hearkened unto me. Therefore I will cast you out of this land, and into a land you know not, neither ye nor your fathers. There shall you serve other Elohim, other gods, day and night, and I will not show you favor. Mm. 
But I want you to hear something because there's something called the, the second exodus, folks. Because when when he said, come out of her, partake of not of her sins. We're talking about Babylon. There's a second exodus. Uh, and here it says, now therefore the days come that it shall no more be said that Yahuwah liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. First exodus. But Yahuwah liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of the north. And from all the lands whither he hath driven them. And I will bring them again to their own land. That I gave unto their fathers. <clears throat> Hold, I will send many fishers. Said Yahuwah. And they shall fish them. And I will send many hunters. And they shall hunt them from every mountain, from every hill, and out of holes in the rocks. For mine eyes upon all thy ways are not hid from my face, neither is their iniquity hid from my eyes. Mm. And then we're down here. So there's two exodus, folks. Chapter 23, verse... Well, let's stop. Let's back up to verse two. Therefore, thus said Hua, Elohim of Israel, because of the pastors that feed my people, you have scattered my flock and driven them away, and I have visited them. Hold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith Hua, and I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries whither I have driven them, and I will bring them again to their folds. And they shall be fruitful and increase. And I will set up shepherds over them. We shall feed them. And they shall fear no more. Nor be dismayed. Neither shall they be lacking. Saith Yahuwah. Behold the days come. Saith Yahuwah. That I will raise unto David a righteous branch. And a king shall reign and prosper. And shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. And in his days Judah shall be saved. And Israel shall dwell safely. And that this in his holy in his name whereby he shall be called the Adonai our righteousness therefore behold the days come here's a second here's another mention of the second exodus behold the days come saith Yahuwah that they shall no more say Yahuwah liveth which brought you up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt but he who liveth which brought you up, which led the seed of the house of Israel, which is Ephraim, Manasseh, Minasseh, the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country, and like him uh, from all countries which I have driven them, and they shall dwell in her own land. See now the very next verse, one right on down in this table at the uh, the waters of Babylon rising is a mention of the second exodus. Hmm. Next verse uh, is Jeremiah as well. We're in 25, 27 is the actual place. And it's going to get bad here in a minute, folks, with what it says. Uh, and all the kings of the north, far and near, one with another, and all the kingdoms of the world, which are upon the face of the earth, the king Shishak shall drink after them. Wait a minute. Yeah. We're going to be talking about the spiritual drunkenness in a minute where uh, who causes the kings and the people of the world to be drunken with spiritual drunkenness. And that's why you see all the craziness going on with like Chrislam and uh, the, the unholy um, alliances that are being made within the church <clears throat> alright uh, so let me just see where I want to start here therefore thou shalt say unto them thus saith Yahuwah of hosts the Elohim of Israel drink ye and be drunken and spew and fall and rise no more because of the sword which I have sent among you the sword of Yahuwah I've told you is coming and it shall be that they refuse to take up the cup in thy hand to drink. Then thou shalt say unto them, Thus said who of hosts, ye shall certainly drink. For lo, 
I will bring evil upon the city which is called by my name. And should ye be utterly unpunished, ye shall not be unpunished, for I will call for a sword upon the inhabitants of the earth. You live on the earth, saith the uh, Elohim of hosts. Therefore prophesy thou against them all these words, and say unto them, Who shall roar from on high, and he utter his voice from the holy habitation, he shall magnify, uh, mightily roar, roar upon his habitation. He shall give a shout, and they that tread the grapes against the inhabitants of the earth, <clears throat> a noise shall come even the ends of the earth. For the Adonai hath a controversy with the nations. He will plead with all flesh, and he will give them that are wicked to the sword, saith Yahuwah. Mm, I felt that one. That's, that is coming to this planet, folks, where he is going to judge these wicked people. And thus said Yahuwah of hosts, hold, even uh, evil shall go forth from nation to nation, and a great whirlwind shall be raised up from coasts of the earth. And the slain of, El uh, of Adonai shall be from that day, from one of the earth, even to the other end of the earth. So this we're talking about wrath here. And they shall not be lamented, neither gathered nor buried. And they shall be dung upon the ground. Mm. You better get right. You better get right. Next verse we're going to be right here, which is also Jeremiah mentioning uh, the end of day. So it's date specific. It's time specific. Right here in this table, each one of these variables um, makes this table even more serious. The fierce anger of Yahuwah shall not return until he hath done it, until he hath performed the intents of his heart in the latter days. Folks, you're in the latter days. Ye shall consider it. And at that time, saith Yahuwah, Will I be the Elohim of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people? And thus saith, and thus saith Yahuwah, the people which are left of the sword found grace in the wilderness, even Israel, when I went to cause them to rest. Mm. Next verse, and this is where. Um, we've got the beer that, that comes vertically here with fire and planet, and also three accounts of, uh, where it says "ult," which is signal. So we have three signals right here, which is vertically "ult," "ult," laterally, and then "ult" vertically again, almost making the four backwards four right there. Um, here's a verse. 32, 31. For this city hath been to me a provocation of mine anger and of my fury from the day that they built it. Even until this day they should remove it from before my face because of all the evil of the children of Israel and the children of Judah. Which I think got a feeling that's New York. For some reason I believe that's New York City which is representation of Babylon, um, which they've done to provoke me to anger. They, their kings, their princes, their priests, and their prophets, and the men of Judah and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And they have turned back, and they have turned unto me from uh, the back, and not the face. Though I taught them, rising up early and teaching them, yet they have not hearkened to receive Instruction was right here, but the same word in Hebrew is Torah. They hearken, have not hearkened to receive Torah. And they built high places of Baal, and they sacrificing their sons and daughters to Molech. What are we doing here, folks? Same thing. You built your high places of, of Baal and abortions. Uh, first here, I'm assuming. Jeremiah 46th chapter <clears throat> uh, 
It says, As I live, saith the king, whose name is the Adonai of hosts, surely as Tabor is among the mountains, as Carmel by the sea, so shall he come. O thou daughter of dwelling in Egypt, furnish thyself to go into captivity, for Noth shall be waste and desolate without inhabitation. Inhabitant. <clears throat> Egypt is like a fairy heifer, from, but destruction cometh. It cometh out of the north. And uh, I meant, forgot to mention earlier in the video, um, Wormwood is also here. But we also have the Shemitah mentioned, connected to the land, which it, it obviously is. It's part of the agricultural um, covenant. Uh, but the verse here is Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 24, is where we'll start. Wherefore will I bring the words of the heathen, and they shall possess their houses, and also make the pomp of the strong to cease, and their holy places defiled. Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall become upon rumor, and they shall seek a vision from a prophet, but the law shall perish from the priests and from the council of the ancients. And the king shall mourn, and the princes shall be clothed with desolation, and the hands of the people, and the land shall be troubled. And I will do unto them after their way, according to their deeds, will I judge them, and they shall know that I am Elohim. You getting this? Then I want to come on down here. And we're going to start here. The first two verses I got highlighted, but uh, we'll cover that in another video. See, it's Hosea. Well, this is what's in incredible here with the day of Yahuwah connected with in, in the same line is annihilation. Um, but this is what it says here. And we'll start. Uh, Verse 1, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. And I will show signs, uh, excuse me, and I will show wonders in heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. And the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of Yahuwah come. Right there. It's also encoded in ELS down the page here. The day of Yahuwah. Right there. With seven letters. So in close proximity to one another, pointing to these verses. Uh, this next one. Where we are is Amos. Fourth chapter. And, uh, And I have smitten you with blasting and mildew, and with your garments and your vineyards, and your fig trees and your olive trees increased, and the pale wormer devoured them. Yet ye have not returned unto me, saith Yahuwah. And I have sent among you the pestilence after the manner of Egypt. Your young men I have slain with the sword, and taken away your horses, and made you stink of your camps to come up to your nostrils. And ye have not returned unto me, saith Yahuwah. And I have overthrown some of you, as, as you who overthrew Solomon and Gomorrah, and ye were as firebrand plucked out of the burning. Yet ye return not unto me, saith Yahuwah. Therefore thus will I do unto thee, O Israel, because I will do unto this unto thee, prepare to meet thy Elohim, O Israel. For lo, he that formeth the mountains, and created the wind, and declareth unto man what he has thought maketh the morning darkness and tread upon the high places of the earth the Elohim of uh, the Adonai of Elohim is his name <coughs> mm. and then this last one is uh, Micah 1.1 one, one. and we'll wrap this up here folks but do you see the pattern we're talking about here um, and I found it Connections to, and then even in other tables. So I'm looking at um, Nibiru, Planet 7X, and Wormwood. And the word 
of Yahuwah that came to Micah the Moreshite in the days of Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, which he saw concerning Samaria and Jerusalem. Um, and then it says, Hear ye all, ye people, hearken, O earth, and all that is therein, and let the uh, Adonai Elohim be a witness against you. For the Adonai from his holy temple, for behold, the Adonai cometh from out of his place, and he will come down and tread upon the high places of the earth. And this is this is wrath. And mountains shall be molten under him, and valleys shall be cleft and wax before the fire, and as the waters that are poured out down a steep place. For the transgressions of Jacob is all this, and for the sins of the house of Israel. What is the transgression of Jacob? Is it not Samaria? And what are the high places of Judah? Are they not Jerusalem? Therefore will I make Samaria as a heap of field, and as a planting of a vineyard, I will pour down the stones thereof into a valley, and I will discover the foundations thereof. And all the graven image thereof shall be beaten into pieces, and all the hires thereof shall be burned with the fire, and all the idols thereof will I lay desolate, for she is gathered for hire a harlot. And they shall return to the higher of a harlot. And we're talking about the beast system. Mystery Babylon. The harlot that rides the beast. <clears throat> so that's what we're, we're seeing here. Result. Judgment. Wrath. Coming to the earth. So there you go, folks. That is the waters of Babylon rising. Now, in another video, I will be talking about um, fire from heaven. Now, now we've done this before. We've, we've talked about this one before, but this is encoded um, very peculiarly. Let me show you something. So you can actually get three tables out of this because of the axis term is such a large skip. Originally, it's ninety two four one six. <clears throat> Here's the thing: it appears encoded one time and in the plain text one time. That is uh, fire from heaven. So I had it broke down into three different tables. And this one is on the width of 23.0, um, 1.04. But there is another, um, other ways you can do it. And this, you, you see how you have a margin here? And one of the uh, other tables, the margin's way up at the top. So it's all about making the cylinder smaller. <clears throat> but I started re reworking it. Here, here's the original. So you can see here, uh, 92416. So there's a huge margin here. So we're, so we got a huge cylinder. And by dividing that number, you make it into a smaller cylinder. So, uh, it becomes longer. You follow what I'm saying? So I started working on this one again because I think it's very significant. And this one came to me one day in a vision, um, where I remember opening up my front door and looking outside and I saw this fire falling and there's white trails behind it and they were all falling in one direction at, at the same speed and I thought to myself and I may even said it out loud wow fire from heaven and so I went and found the table and that is what we just saw here so uh, again I'm reworking it because I think there's a, as you can see all the verses here a lot of significance um, I think it's got something to do with wormwood. However, it could be um, nuclear missiles or something that, that I saw, which was the fire from heaven. So, um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And for those that are supporting this ministry, Shalom and Yahuwah bless you. Thank you for, uh, for helping out, folks. And this is a labor. I do put a lot of time and effort in this. And uh, the with the commercials that you see um i don't i don't even make much off of that so this is not me making money off the codes this is me giving it a purpose and at work and uh sharing with you so shalom and i'll see you in the next video guys